National Women's Day, so I'm wearing purple. My hair is purple, so um, in the spirit of celebrating um, Women's Day, and I always believe that um, you know women should be loved, valued, respected, uh, cared for. So everything gánh vác quá nhiều uh, việc trong cuộc sống uh, làm vợ nè làm con nè làm dâu nè làm mẹ nè riêng theo lời thì chỉ là uh, làm con thôi uh, chưa làm mẹ uh, uh, vì thế uh, không chưa làm dâu cho nên cũng không biết được cái gì cái cái um, cái nặng nề và những cái trách nhiệm khác uh, ngoài làm con cho nên vì thế nhân um, dịp ngày quốc tế phụ nữ thì uh, anh lì được nghe đồn á là mình mặc màu tím màu trắng và màu xanh để mình uh, support mình là tiếng nói cho cho cái ngày này uh, và cái này là international women day là cả thế giới luôn các bạn cho nên uh, ngày mai là ngày 8 tháng 3 uh, các bạn nào nam và nữ nếu mà có thể được thì xin mặc à, à, màu tím, màu trắng hoặc là màu xanh bát cây để mà support uh, International Women's Day. Uh, red, no, not red. Purple, white and green are the three colors to um, support International Women's Day. So if you are now a woman, children, anybody, uh, tomorrow, uh, March the 8th, is International Women's Day, so please show your color and support. Um, so if any gentleman, anyone who wants to, husband, boyfriends, wants to buy a gift for your special lady tomorrow for the International Women's Day, uh, I suggest hair care because a woman always loves to look and feel great and um, if you are running around trying to buy something uh, I give for her um, something that she can use every day then shampoo and conditioner and hair products so um, at our salon we use Aveda and some of my favorites I'll show you some of my favorites so there's the new trepanish. Um, okay, so if you have very dry, uh, you know, coarse, tangled hair, um, Aveda has the new trepanish, which is this. Okay, it comes with a conditioner and shampoo. It also has a leave-in, uh, a leave-in conditioner that you can spray in. So. Shampoo is to use for um, washing. Conditioner is to use to um, seal the hair, bring shine back to the hair, detangle the hair. So always, always use separately. You know, I feel so bad for the public. Get fooled and get tricked into using the two in one. Um, not saying bad things about uh, advertising, but 
they are just so misleading. Uh, when you use two things together that, do, that have two different purposes, you're defeating the purpose of each. So shampoo is to clean the hair and conditioner is to seal the cuticle. So if you put them together, you can't really clean and seal at the same time because you can't clean it, you're sealing it. It's like someone order hot water and you put hot and cold together, it becomes warm. It's not either cold or hot, it's warm. So um, when you use shampoo to wash your hair, just use shampoo and let it do its job. If you're going to use conditioner to seal the cuticle and smooth the hair, just use conditioner. Please use them separately, both men and women. Don't use the two-in-one. It's not the solution to clean hair, okay? So um, after you do that, you if you have dry hair like me and long hair that you color and you bleach and you enlighten and you do all sorts of stuff to it, uh, they have the leave-in conditioner, uh, which is like a sunscreen for the hair, okay? It keeps the hair nice and healthy, detangles it, protects it from the sun and the heat, especially in the winter when it's cold. You turn on your house heat, um, your hair gets really dry. So leave-in conditioner is definitely needed. So you can either use a spray, with, which is a liquid, or you can use the hair oil. Um, I personally like to use a spray because it's just you know cleaner I don't have to wash my hands after I use the oil so yeah so if you have dry hair this is the package for you uh, to help repair the hair or to help the hair hydrate it again okay So, uh, this is another um, hair care. So, this is more for softening. The other one was more for uh, dry hair. So, this is cherry almond line. I absolutely love the smell. The aroma is just so, you know, soothing. Um, it comes in a shampoo and a conditioner. Again, please use them separately. Please stop using the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner together. Very, very bad, okay? So, um, softening, if you find your hair is brittle, um, it's, it doesn't feel, com like, feel clean, feel nice, feel, you know, like hair is supposed to feel like, um, then the cherry almond, I find, is just a nice, general, all types of hair shampoo and conditioner line that helps to keep the hair fresh, soft, um, you know, it, it's, it's just like a, like a general um, shampoo and conditioner line, but it smells amazing and it softens the hair, it makes the hair feel soft, touchable. So it comes in a shampoo and conditioner, it also has a leave-in. Um, conditioner. So if you find that your hair needs that extra care, extra uh, softness, then you can put in the uh, leave-in conditioner. This you don't wash out. So you shampoo, conditioner, and then you put this in and you leave it and you style it. You don't wash the leave-in conditioner out. Okay? This line uh, is so popular that uh, it makes the, the smell in hand and body wash. So not only it has for shampoo, hair care, but it's also for hand and body. So shampoo, wash, whatever you want to call it, um, you can use it for your body, okay? So that's that. This is one of my favorite um, Aveda products. So with this, uh, this is more of a cream um, product, so you have to put it in your hand and you have to run it through. This is more of a spray, so um, which one is more, um, cream is more dense in consistency, more, uh, more 
What's the word? It's, 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 it's thicker than liquid. So fine hair, I would use more liquid, and medium to thick hair, I would use more cream. Okay. So that is the difference between the two leaf in conditioner. One is out. Uh, the food base and one is a cream base. And next is color. So this is the color control uh, line. So if you color your hair like I do, and you know you have a lot of um, you know vibrant color like red, purple, mahogany, and you don't want the color to fade, uh, the color control is uh, the line for you. Again, the uh, color control is can even be used on just regular hair. Okay, If you use it on regular hair that is not colored, it's just smelling nice and it keeps your hair completely nice and clean. It doesn't, uh, you know, um, but, oh, it helps your hair from fading in the sun. So it does protect your natural color as well as your color treated hair. Okay? So it comes in a shampoo, conditioner, and a leave-in treatment. Okay? And this, uh, when you spray it in, it's, even though it's a treatment, but it's light. So you can leave this in. You don't have to rinse it off. So this is another favorite of mine that I use on my color clients. Okay. <laughs> and lastly, um, well, not actually, lastly, um, they have the um, uh, damage remedy line. The damage remedy line, I personally don't like the smell of the shampoo. Okay, but I absolutely love the conditioner and the treatment. So. The smell and the effect that works of these treatments are amazing. Um, I usually use these treatments with other shampoo, like, um, you know, I can use this with this. So I can use the shampoo of Nutripenish with the Damage Remedy. So you can definitely mix and match these um, hair care, um, but especially for this line, I like the uh, treatment and the conditioner. I don't like the smell of the shampoo, but that's just my preference. And then if your hair is breaking, very damaged, uh, enlightened bleach, uh, over process, then you can definitely use the um, damage remedy, leave-in. So this one is instantly visibly repair, protects from heat and styling. So if you flat iron your hair, curl your hair a lot, use a lot of heat on it, um, this really works well. Uh, you will shake this up like this, and you will put like about a quarter size amount, and then you rub it on both hands and just run it all over the hair, all over, and then you style. So this definitely helps to protect the hair and keeps the hair healthy if you're styling the hair a lot, okay? Now, lastly, is the sock mask. So, this is also my favorite. The smell is amazing, the sock mask smell. So all of the Aveda products are 97% plant-based, meaning uh, it's 97% natural. You're not getting a lot of silicone, paraffin, toxic chemicals when you're using everyday hair care, which is a great thing because, um, you know, using too much chemical on your scalp, your hair, um, it does, you know, have strong side effects. So I've worked for Aveda for like 20 years, and their product is uh, one of the best lines in professional hair care. So uh, the reputation is there. You can Google them. But um, they're sm aside from their being good products, they also smell great. So one of my favorite smell is the Slap Moss. It's here. They have the shampoo and the conditioner. The only bad thing that I can tell you and honestly tell you about these products is that they're expensive. They're at least five or seven dollars more than what you would buy in the drugstore. 
Like if you go to shop at Drug Mart, Walmart, uh, to buy shampoo and conditioner, they're like $18, $20 now. So these are like, you know, 30s. But you get what you pay for, okay? So um, those of you who love your hair like I do, I love my hair. I spent so much money on my hair because, you know, it's, it's my comfort zone. It, it, it makes me feel confident. I like to have nice hair. That's why I'm a hairstylist. So I'd rather spend a lot of money on my hair than to buy like an expensive LV bag or Chanel clothing or Chanel shoes. Like for me, clothing, mm, you know, you can wear expensive stuff, but it's not on you 24-7. Your hair is on you 24-7, and that's what people first look at. So, I find that some people dress really expensive, wearing all these nice, you know, brand name clothing, but their hair looks so awful, you know? And I'm like, you know, I look at them, I'm like, if only you can use just one-tenth of what you spend on like a Chanel bag, and use it for your hair you know, you would feel so much better. Because notice that people who wear brand name clothing or material stuff is not always happy, even if they wear expensive stuff. But if they have nice looking hair, feel good, clean, volume, pretty, you know, if they look in the mirror and they like their hair, they are more happier than wearing expensive clothing that I promise you so like my clothing uh, is very cheap I shop like at sale item aisle but you know what I am I've always feel confident and feel happy because I have nice hair extensions even though they're not my real hair but at least you know they're beautiful hair so my hair is like my security blanket. So, you know, take care of your hair, guys, you know? So, sap moss. For those of you who have very, very dry hair, sap moss is more um, conditioning, hydrating, I find, than the Nutripenish. So, between these two, they're both uh, moisturizing, but um, I find the sap moss um, is a little bit more better. But again, personal preference. Right. So you were supposed to have it done before. Yep. So that is pretty so much all of the hair care. Um, well, there's more um, hair care stuff, but uh, those are shampoo oh, conditioners yeah. that oh, you can okay. use yeah. for now, your everyday um, uh, hair cleansing. So there's a neutral penish, there's the damage remedy. Um, these are okay, like this is very popular with men, the rosemary. Please don't use this on color treated hair because it has vinegar. So it will strip the color off your hair. So just, if you have color, don't use rosemary even though it smells really nice. Shampoo shampoo is for general, if you're starting out and you just wanna try a beta, you know, shampoo is usually um, popular, but when you get into more Pacific, then damage remedies for damaged hair. Cherry almond is to soften the hair. Color conserve is to protect the hair. If you have frizzy, curly, wavy hair, then smooth infusion is your line. Um, sap moss is right here. I'm not a big fan of the Pure Abundance. I find that they're not, they're very clayey. So they're a bit heavy for me, but again, personal preference. Um, this is for people who hate yellow uh, blondes and they want to neutralize it. So this is like a purple uh, shampoo, okay, purple toning. That is for curly hair. If you have curly hair, um, this works really well. It helps to tame and frizz control, okay. This is the men's line that they have here. So on Father's Day, if you want to buy something for dad, they have shampoo, conditioner, um, they have clay, they have paste, they have cream, and they have pomade, and they have liquid pomade, regular and firm hold. Okay, so that is the men's line right there. Uh, this is more styling. Um, this is like a foam mousse gel. 
I really like this one I use on men, control paste. Okay, anyone with short hair, this is really good. So the control paste and the defining whip is my favorite. The defining whip is my favorite. Um, it's light, so it's even for long hair to use. So these two works really well for styling, okay? For men and women, okay? And this is my favorite uh, hairspray when I do brides, uh, updos, uh, or you want like a style to hold. Control Force is a very good hairspray. I don't really like this because it doesn't hold, it doesn't really do anything, but this is really good, okay? These ones, not my favorite because it gets too, you know, heavy and it's, it's, it's liquid. I find it wrecks your, it wrecks the hairstyle. So I like more of a, um, you know, a spray like this, okay? And that is pretty much it. <laughs> And this is my office. Uh, this is the rollers that I use. Um, I get this at the salon, so our salon sells it, but right now it's um, all bought, so we have to order more. But this is the hot rollers that uh, I use. This is a photo of my little boys. This is Boon Boon, and this is my little Theo. So, um, Kwa, he did these uh, family royal portraits back in COVID, so he made me a picture of my kids, so I have it there to look at. And this is my office, guys. Hi! So today I am wearing purple to uh, support uh, International Women's Day and comfy running shoes. And this is uh, my little corner. Um, I always like to hear feedback from clients and so I can improve my service and my skill better. Um, I have my little uh, photo of the children of my mission trip. So every time I have a bad day or I have a stressful day, you know, I look at the children and it, you know, gives me inspiration. It reminds me of my purpose in life. And, you know, it's just, you know, I, I see this every day as my motivation so this is my little office right here okay so when you come into the salon which is the door right there you're gonna see my station which is here so um, I've been here for 20 years counting so uh, it's been a long time um, I have a great workplace, a great boss. There's my boss right there. Mm -hmm. So that's Vince. Where? I'll be glad. So that is Vince right there. The gentleman that you see cutting. That is my boss. But, uh, you know, uh, he doesn't feel like a boss. He's a leader. Uh, boss is usually someone who's very bossy and you know, but Vince is the owner of the salon, but he's also a leader. He leads the salon, he's fair, he's understanding, you know, he allows me to go on my mission trip straight four weeks uh, and still have a job. Uh, I take off like weekends in the summer, in the fall, in the spring to do charity fundraising and Vince hasn't fired me yet, so Vince has been a huge support in my charity work and you know, he's been my boss for the past 20 years, so that is Vince over there. A wonderful leader, salon owner, a dad, pet, a pet parent as well. He have a dog, Cody, he loves to death, so, and he's a great cook too, so that's Vince right there. So, uh, if you are in Toronto and you happen to be in Glow West Village, come in and visit me. Um, I work at Viscata Salon. Okay, this is Viscata Salon. <laughs> okay, so over there is Jane Subway. We are at Jane and Armadale. The main intersection is Jane and Bloor. So if you go to the Jane Subway, which is right there, you cross the street, come over here, walk about 20 steps, and you will see Viscata Salon. So this is where I work, guys. Okay? Um, 
and uh, I've been here for a long, long time, long, long time. And uh, this is where uh, Vince also allowed me to use on the day off so that I can host some of the uh, Better Futures for Kids Foundation charity fundraiser. You remember this place when me and Anya used to open the shop here on a Sunday to sell balloons, uh, sell pho, sell um, gói cuốn, uh, chị Hạnh làm and bánh tét and you know, uh, cắt tóc làm đẹp ở đây để raise money for hội những bé đến trường. So uh, Vince is, is a huge support. So it's, wonder, it's, it's wonderful to have a boss who is supportive of your passion, your mission, and you know, because when I'm off uh, from work, you know, Vince moves out on his clients, or my clients. Well, it's not like, it's never our clients because it's the salon clients, right? The, the Vince's uh, salon clients. But the clients that come to see me, uh, when I'm off, uh, they can't come in or they don't want to come in. So on the days that I am off doing fundraising events, you know, the salon and Vince lose out, but Vince has been very understanding and, you know, compassionate to, to let me take days off, weeks off to do like Taste of Vietnam event. Uh, Taste of Southeast Asia Festival and all the festivals that I, all the event fundraising that I do throughout the year. So, you know, it really helps to have a workplace that understands, right? And that's the reason why I never want to be an owner. I'm happy just to be an employee, work for a wonderful, good boss, and, you know, do my job, uh, see my client. Um, have a fulfilling career and then go home at night. You know, don't have to worry about money, staffing, and you know, running a business, right? So each of everyone is different, um, but I'm very lucky to have the lifestyle and the people around me that support what I do. So, and one of them is my boss over there, which is Vince. So, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, again, tomorrow is International um, Women's Day, March 8th. I want to wish uh, all the women out there uh, a happy day, and it should be every day. And, you know, women, we should unite. We should, you know, hold hands. We should love and care and support and encourage each other. You know, there are so much stereotype of women are jealous of each other, you know, gossip, bad mouth, drama. You know, th there are those type of women, and I've met those type of women, which I try to stay away from those type of women. But I feel and I believe that there's so many women around me, um, the majority of them are wonderful women. They are successful women and they are women who want to help other women. And they like to build womanhood, not sabotage or not, you know, get into drama and, you know, chaos and war and, you know, like, life is too short for that. So choose who, choose who you want to be around with. And again, you know what? I, I find that, you know, being around healthy women, women who want to see other women to see, women who are confident and happy with themselves, will never go and destroy another woman. So, um, again, it's International Women Day. It should be every day. But um, if you're going to buy a present for that special lady, in your life. I hope that this video helped for you to understand more about hair care. And if you want to buy hair products as a gift for her tomorrow, you can come to our salon, the Scatter Salon, or you can just call our reception, this, go to B, and you can order them and pick them up. So it's very easy. So, all right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps you understand a little bit more about hair or at least uh, a beta product. And give it a try. It's for men and women, and um, I absolutely love it.
It's healthy for us and it's also healthy for the environment. Because it's made with care. Alright, thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Mwah. Happy Woman Day! Woman's Day tomorrow. Make sure you wear purple to support the cause. Bye!